Hey everyone, it's Andrew Cartwright here. Hope you're having a terrific Thursday. Here's your PPP EIDL small business PPP loan and also small business grant update for Thursday, January 28, 2021. Find out which major American companies were able to secure millions in PPP loans that you wouldn't think they could. The amazing news out of one state providing $45 million in grant money for struggling small businesses. This is fantastic. And some important tips for anyone considering a PPP loan that could save you time and money and also help you get more money if you didn't know this after this. For the best news and information to master and dominate your money, business, and life, stay tuned to this channel. We're giving away $1,700 here when we hit 170,000 subscribers, which we're so close. All you got to do to enter to win $1,700 is subscribe, like, and comment. That's it. It's free. It also helps me and it helps the channel. So please, if you don't mind, just destroy the like button, subscribe, and put a comment. And we can pick you to give you that $1,700 if you're picked from the random comments. Also... Down below is a link with Weeble. You can get four stocks there. Two could be valued up over $1,600 when you deposit $100. It is fantastic. It's a limited time offer. Please, yo it to yourself to check it out. And finally, thanks to all my Patreons. You guys rock. Hope you enjoy my book, investments, and five articles a week. But first, a recent report showed that major American companies such as McDonald's, Subways, Dunkin' Donuts, Ford, and General Motors were able to secure thousands thousands of PPP loans intended for small businesses. How does this happen? I'm going to explain. According to Washington Post, this is in the article down below, quote, 4,278 subways, 2,445 Dunkin' Donuts, and 2,217 McDonald's were able to receive PPP disaster uh, relief funds. While, quote, 1,478 General Motors locations and 1,115 Ford locations, end quote, were able to get these small business disaster relief funds. How does that happen? Well, guess what? Who do you think runs all these places? Yes, they're entrepreneurs like you and me that basically support a brand and, you know, get paid a little bit of money left over the profit to be able to sell these these products, Subway and Ford and all this, these are independent dealers, not the mothership, putting things in perspective. Quote, in total, the SBA identified 75,746 franchise businesses that receive loans, accounting to 1.5% of the 5.2 million loans issued between April 3rd and August 8th for a total of $15.6 billion. Inspire Brand spokesman Christopher Fuller explained, quote, the program was designed to help independently owned, yes, independently owned and operated restaurants, whether or not they are affiliated with a broader franchise system, the funds for the program help restaurants stay economically viable and keep people employed during an incredible difficult time. Well, as you know, many of these locations, if you want to open up a subway, I'm a business broker, right? So I sell lots of businesses. I help people buy businesses. Each one of these businesses are like a business to themselves. The difference is they get trained in a system and they sell their products and they have the sign over the head. Other than that, it's their business. If it goes out of business, it's their name, their credit, their money. They lose, not the big mothership. So Franchises, something you probably want to look into. While I'm glad that those restaurants, they're able to receive these PPP loans to keep their doors open. They're small, independent, mostly mom and pop run restaurants. I also hope that the same resources are available to smaller businesses without brand recognition. A lot of people that had those subways and those other uh, franchise locations thought that they didn't qualify for the loan. A lot of them didn't apply. So if you haven't applied, make sure you do this time. Meanwhile, the great state of Massachusetts has announced more funding to assist small businesses with gr free grant money to help them keep the doors open for employees. This is awesome. Massachusetts, love you guys. I love that place. It's like I get so like inspired there. Governor Charlie Baker announced $45 million in free SBA grant money through the, S the Small Business Grant Program. Make sure you check it out. Link down below. Um, administration by Mass Growth 
Capital Corporation. This is fantastic. If you're eligible for this small business grant, you could get upward of $75,000 or three months of expenses, payroll, rent, et cetera. So, so far to date, Massachusetts has awarded $280 million in direct financial support to more than 5,800 small businesses struggling from financial uh, stress during these crazy times. I know I keep promoting it, and I know a lot of people get these funds because of watching my videos, because we try and find everything we can to help you out. I'm glad to see Massachusetts stepping up to the plate and supporting their local companies. And I hope that all the other states can take notice and start following suit, maybe share this video with somebody in another state. And finally, I thought I would give you some interesting breakdowns on some tips and tricks for understanding filing of the application for the PPP loan. There's a link down below if you're interested in a PPP loan. If you're self-employed, you want to do a sole proprietorship when you can. If you're an Uber driver, Lyft, a regular company, up to $2 million, you can get a loan through the link below. It's in the description. The Journal of Accountancy listed some very informative tips to help you best understand and receive a PPP forgivable loan from the SBA. It's important to provide ample documentation. You want to be clear with your documents. With Kerry Hepson, CPA and CGMA, a senior manager with Associates of International Certified uh, professional accountants explains, quote, supporting documents for the um, average monthly payroll calculation used to calculate the maximum loan amount could be obtained to support those amounts. She also suggested being aware of the new terms of the PPP loan, stating, quote, you can't go back and make adjustments to the loan if it's done. If you haven't submitted your PPP forgiveness application, there's an opportunity to go back and use those additional expenditures because the act did not didn't did did make them retroactively available so make sure you go back i know ranchers and farmers the first time they applied they only got they looked at the you know sole props they looked at line 31 and said oh i didn't make any money cuz i had all these write offs well they changed it just recently as of like 10 days ago and farmers and ranchers they go off of their Schedule F, line 9, which is fantastic. Make sure you check that out. If you're a rancher or farmer, I'll be making other videos to help people with that. But it's amazing they did this finally. They go, you know what? Ranchers write off a lot of stuff. They don't have any money. Somebody down there in the SBA said, we got to get money to these people. How do we do it? Well, Schedule F, where their gross profit is. She closed by alerting loan claimants that the SBA could be more critical of this round of PPP loans to combat fraud. So make sure to tell the truth and only claim funds that you're legally entitled to as they're on the watch. And you're not, probably not going to fool them twice if you fooled them once before. If you're interested in learning about the Paycheck Protection Program or are looking to receive your second PPP loan, click on the link below and get your application in today. Don't miss out. There's still $249 billion left, so there's a good chance it'll be there. But... You don't want to wait. Don't miss out on your chance to receive these amazing, forgivable disaster relief funds that are designed to help you and your small business get through these difficult times. Click on the link below, submit your supporting documentation, and you could be eligible for a loan. If you didn't get your first one because you missed out or didn't want it, well, you can still apply for the first one. So make sure you get that in as well. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this entertaining and informative. I'm here for you in regards to the PPP. Put in the comments down below if you have comments or questions, that sort of thing. We'll try and get to them and cover them in videos. I'm Andrew Cartwright. Please be safe out there. Take care. Love you.